Some people love it, some love to hate it. However you feel, snow is a guarantee if you live in the Midwest. But when it falls and how much you get looks different than a few decades ago. According to a report from the Midwest Regional Climate Center, some places are getting less snowfall than in decades past, while others are getting more. The study compares average snowfall amounts over the last five decades. One clear change, lake effect snow bands are pushing further downwind of Lakes Michigan and Superior, dropping more snow in inland counties. But a much closer look indicates immediate lakeshore communities may be trending down in yearly snow. Let's take a closer look. We examined snowfall data for Grand Rapids and Muskegon from 1960 to 2020. The data shows that as the years went on, Grand Rapids got more snow than in earlier years. Most of the additional snow fell in January and February. Now, Muskegon, on the other hand, reported less yearly snow in the past 30 years. Both early and late season snow totals dropped on average. One thing both cities had in common, less snowfall in the spring. In Grand Rapids, snow totals dropped by 25%, and in Muskegon, they dropped by nearly 50%. So what's causing these changes? Temperatures are staying warmer in the fall and warming up faster in the spring. This will cause the lake effect snow season to be shortened. Michigan is less likely to have snow as early as Halloween or falling into the spring. Another major factor is Lake Michigan ice coverage. When the lake freezes over, the moisture needed to make lake effect snow is no longer available. Without that added moisture, lake effect snow can't happen. Over recent years, Lake Michigan ice has been declining and the wide open waters means lake effect snow can increase in both amount and area. So good news for snow lovers, right? Maybe. Milder winter temperatures are melting the snow as quickly as it comes. So bottom line, enjoy it.